Alright, what is up you guys, and as always, welcome back to another, of course, OU Battle. Now, we're gonna continue with um, actually using the um, Electric Terrain team with Reggie Leggy. Now, I have been working on actually using also um, Reggie Drago, but we'll see what we get there. Oh my god, alright. So, Quagsire kinda, kinda stomps on me, naturally, but... Actually, Jesus, why do Quagsar exist? Hmm. I do believe we have Grass Knot on Coco, so it's not the worst. Though I wouldn't necessarily want to waste Coco in that situation. I don't see a spinner, which is great. It does allow me to potentially get a self rock, but we do have. <sighs> we have issues, however. I'm going to lead off with Houser. I don't believe. Like, if he leads off with, let's say, your Shifu, it's gonna be nasty, but overall, like, I don't see Hauser being able to provide me of any type of momentum whatsoever. <clears throat> Plus, if Lapras comes in, I do believe we can punish it directly if that's gonna be his lead. So, to my opponent, Rabbit, good luck, have fun, and um, please let me just beat early that goddamn Quagsire somehow. If I get rid of that, I feel, I feel I'm golden. Z Zabaza. You know what? That's um, that's wrong, man. However, he could only have like high jump kick to be able to potentially knock me out. Right, that's the only place. So everything else doesn't make sense. I feel if he U turns, he's gonna get some momentum, but he could just go for the high jump kick just to get as much damage in there as possible. And if so, we get some cool momentum and. Uh, we get a we get a ha ha, <laughs> gotcha. All right, probably won't be able to do that again. Um, gonna send in Hauser again. I feel here comes the power ball, <laughs> or U turn. If I were him, I'd probably U turn because I have the options to kind of switch back and forth. Um, does go for power ball, which I think is fair. Now he knows that uh, I can't switch in so hard again. He loses his. Pokemon if he decides to stay in. Don't burn me. So... Should I head smash directly? Just go for an Outrage. I actually have Dragon Dance here. There is no way he high jump kicks. Yeah, he withdraws. Like, that's... He, he recognizes the error of his ways and sends in... Yeah, alright. That's a combination he was looking for, which is fine. I'm going for head smash, hoping that's enough to kind of break him. Damage, damage, damage. Head smash connects and um, doesn't kill, actually. Toxic spice, that's fair. We did good damage, though. Did he have a fairy type? No, but it has Quagsire. <laughs> so Quagsire comes in here. I have means of defunct, which is nice. Um, I should go for Outrage here, just to get as much damage as possible in there, because I believe Quagsire comes in. And I just basically want to uh, break this guy. Even though it's more likely that this is... Um, I'm close to it kill though, even with leftovers in mind. And it's probably unaware. Should be unaware. So let's see how much you want to risk this. Yeah, it's not a weird role leader, so which is unfortunate, but at the same time, like I said, breaking power can be just as essential. And I have another outrage in me, it seems. I hope. Yeah, so we can go for a crit maybe? Wishful thinking, but uh, you never know. <laughs> so the question is... How much is he willing to bet? To go for a potential skull burn on me, or just will it keep on recovering? Guess we find out. 
Giving one on one around with these, like I said, a one crit that we should be in a golden spot. This isn't pretty, and I know that. Um, but basically, my only play is uh, like really breaking him, and uh, I can only do that by the means of Nidoqueen Queen and whatnot. <sighs> but a crit, like I said, would have been nice. But now he's full HP, and there is nothing to it. I mean, his place should be to just keep on recovering. It's a damn shame, really. Like, one crit, we should have been in a good-ish spot. But he's gonna do everything he can to just kind of manage this, which I think is fair. Oh, he has Toxic and Misses. So that sucks for him. And I mean that. So a Toxic Recover, um, this guy usually packs... Um, Um, like, do I want to get rid of it? Or do I want to, like, go for Thunderous Kicks and try to willow him down? Because he'll lose, since he is unaware, he'll lose his defenses by the second. And he has no switching besides Toxic Packs for that. Uh, no, we'll do this. <coughs> the way I see it, I just want to get rid of uh, the Toxic Spikes, and um, his play should always be no matter what, actually, recover. Toxic. You know what? I'll take it. So... He should be having Scald. Well, your power shouldn't do anything, or a lot, but... Uh, it's a decent, like, middle ground play. Plus, I get to see what he wants to do. Share Force really helps the damage output a little bit, and while I could Stealth Rock, I don't want to really lean into that right now, at least. I want to see his play. He could always fear him, not me carrying something like Energy Ball or Psycut, but he shouldn't. This is like just saying, if I, I probably gauge here and go for Recover, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, I think that was the no play. Whirlpool Toxic. Whirlpool Toxic Recover. What could the last move be? Skulls, maybe? Earthquake? Now, let's think about this. What are you switching to an Earthquake? Or Earth Power? I'm neutral versus everything you have to come in. There is no way, like, I feel, yeah, he sacks it, which is fine. Lapras should come in here. And once that Lapras hits off, things get tough. Your Shifu. Somehow that's worse. Are we looking at Bandit Wicked Blows, or what are we looking at? Then again, Sapdos kinda eat the dual stab, and so do... Or not eat them, but they can take them. So I feel I switch this in, just to switch in Coco later on. Because Wicked Blow together with uh, Close Combat, while they should do good damage, they shouldn't kill me. So, Coco, <laughs> because now I come Pex, and um, there's a good reason for that, Pex is kinda, kinda safe. I'm like worried he stayed in anyway, please don't. <laughs> like, don't do this. To, a Japanese name, yeah. Yeah, we're good. So if I were him... What do I switch into this? I feel there is no downplay for me of actually just sending this one in. He could Scald, he could Toxic, but more likely... 
he tries to take this hit with uh, his Dragapult, I feel. <laughs> Zabazu. Alright. So I did decide to sack play this. Gonna go for that rise in voltage. Really hope this isn't scuffed. No, but it had Sucker Punch, which actually is Stab. Oh, I, I'm a bit sad by that, actually. I won't deny it, that actually sucks. <laughs> I shouldn't know that. Could your Shifu also be? So having Sucker Punch, I believe if that comes in, I kind of have to consider it. Hmm. Dragapult. Alright. So, basically, he could be Scarfed. But if it isn't, I think I do a whole lot of damage. Don't think I... My god, fuck shit. That's... Yeah. Fucking Dragapult, son. That's... Uh, that was not... Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Where are your switch-ins now? Wow, that's impressive. That's impressive. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Um. <clears throat> All right, what a bitch. Yeah, GG, I guess. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.